Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin live tonight. I hope that you guys all had a wonderful weekend. I had a really super busy weekend. Um, let's see. Um, I did something Friday, but I can't remember what. <laughs> Hi Lisa. I, um, Saturday went to Madison for a Stamping Up event. That was super fun. Uh, we did some training and learned some great stuff and um, got to uh, chat with other demonstrators. I always love that because we play a lot of business ideas off each other. So that's always helpful. It was just a really, really nice day. And then, oh, last night I got home. And uh, I got home about 7.30, I'd say, and I, I tried to eat some cauliflower pizza crusty things that I bought at the store, and they were disgusting, so I threw them in the garbage. <laughs> and then I came in my office, and I don't know why, but like my whole body was buzzing, like I had too much caffeine or something, and I really didn't um, yesterday. So I couldn't really think, and I thought, oh, the heck with this. So I went in the living room, and um, probably about 8, 30, 9 o'clock, I woke up at 6, 30 in the morning. <laughs> so I got all kinds of sleep and got up early and started my day early, which was good because I had some things I needed to finish up. I have a big team meeting tomorrow night. I've got a whole bunch of gals coming. And I had to do some work on their make and takes, so that's always fun. Then I had to go to a wedding shower. One of Haley's high school friends is getting married on the same day Haley's getting married. I know, they're both getting married August 3rd. So I had to go to that wedding shower and it was really fun. Um, I got to sit with one of Haley's classmates' moms that we used to sit together at soccer games and see everybody at all the events. You know, she was my person that I really enjoy spending time with. So that was fun. And then I came home and got, oh, I know, I did a one sheet wonder with that new Everything is Rosy bundle. Ah, I know I can't hardly wait to show it to you guys. I'm so excited and I don't know when I'll be um, showing you that, whether I'll do it in a video this week or whether I will do it for Facebook Live next Sunday, but I'm really excited because it turned out great and I know that I've had several people asking me for a one sheet wonder and um, yeah, so it was pretty fun. Let me get you guys live on my screen here so I can see your comments better. Once I turn my phone around, um, it's kind of impossible. So make sure whether you're watching live right now or watching later on YouTube or later on Facebook that you do these things. Yeah, so you can, you, you can do this. Remember, we can't say this word right here, so. Hey, I, I can work around. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's get going here. I am first going to show you some of the cards that I got in the mail today because I always love to share those with you. Um, this is from my friend Sandy Skonezny. I think that's how you say her last name. Isn't that pretty? So she loved my color panel card. And she said, I like this layout so much, I made a few cards using it. What fun. And thank you for the, oh, I sent her some PDFs. Um, and Sandy's part of my team. She was one of my really good customers. And I happened to mention to her that she could get a discount on all that ordering she was doing. And so she joined my team as a discount shopper. So yay, Sandy. Very pretty. I love that card. Next I have... A card here. This is from Janice, and Janice won the um, what's that stamp set called? The beach stamp set that I gave away last week or the week before. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, very pretty. So she sent me a card thanking her, and she said she's going to use it a lot for her Florida friends. And Janice lives in Florida, so perfect, right? And then I have to show you this card. This is a store bought card. But every card is special to me, no matter whether it's homemade or not. And this came from the little girl across the street, um, Eva. She had her appendix out last week, and I took her um, some Get Well balloons and some candy and a Dairy Queen gift card so she can have some treats when she's feeling better. 
Then I have a card here from Linda Morrison. And Linda made this pretty card. Yeah. Linda sent me a card to thank me for all the help that I gave her. So it says on the inside, you are wonderful. Thank you, Linda. Beautiful card. And then I got a card from Mary Lynn Weller. And Mary Lynn sent me this magnet. So she made this. And I believe it's made with some like um, iridescent looking embossing powders. Oh, you can see it now. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, so I'm going to stick that right in my file cabinet where I have all my other funny little um, magnets that I love. <laughs> I, did I show you guys this one? So, yeah. I thought that was pretty funny. It made me laugh, so I had to buy it. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, we finalized Haley's flowers last week for the wedding, and that the, the floral shop we went to was in Green Bay, and it's called Nature's Best. Highly recommend it. The man who owns it is just hysterical. Um, we loved him, and they have the funniest things in there, much like this, I don't have to cook and clean, I'm a trophy wife. <laughs> yeah. And then, oh, here's the card Mary Lynn made. So she used a shaving cream background in here and super pretty. And um, she said this was an exercise in KISS, K-I-S-S, -S, which means keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, so she's showing off that beautiful background. And she says, just because, have a beautiful day. So thanks, Mary Lynn. I always love everybody's cards. Let me set those back here. Okay. Um, we are going to award some winners tonight. I'm super excited. Lori Hyde, you are winning the Settles embossing folder. This is one of our dynamic folders, and Lori wins this. She was drawn from people who leave comments. So everybody, make sure you leave a comment so you can get entered in the door prizes to win. What is Steve saying? I missed his comment. Hmm. Let me look for a second. Nope, it's, oh, my comments aren't keeping up. So hang on, I gotta get to where you guys are. Oh, there's Steve. Hi, Pam. I don't know what he said. Okay, next we have Maureen Wheatley. Oh, and Lori Hyde. Lori's from Menasha, Wisconsin. She lives right here in town. Then we have Maureen Wheatley is gonna win these Big Shot embossing mats. And Maureen is from... Smyrna, Delaware. I hope I said that right, Maureen. But I know Maureen is going to love these. And then, oh, and that was for S-H-A-R-I-N-G. Hmm, I almost said it, which I don't think would be the worst thing in the world. I think I could maybe say it once or twice, but we're not going to, we're not going to push our luck here, right? And then this one, uh-oh, uh-oh, I lost my tag. Hang on, because I have everything ready to go out. I've got all my mailing labels ready here. So, Claudia. Okay, Claudia wins the Bloom by Bloom stamp set. Claudia is from Burton, Michigan, and this is, her name was drawn from orders that I got in the last week. So, okay, I'm going to put Claudia's stamp set with her envelope because I lost the post-it note that's supposed to be on it. And then I have another award. I had a, you guys, S-H-A-R-E-D'd my video 160 times. And that is like a huge, amazing number. And I so, so appreciate it. So I did an extra drawing in that category. And Deborah Culbertson is the winner. And Deborah I do not have your address, so you have two weeks to claim this prize, and if I don't hear from you, it goes back in for another drawing for somebody else's name. So I hope you contact me. I did private message um, Deborah on Facebook to get her address, so I hope I hear back from her. I'm going to put that over there with the rest of the envelopes. Yes, yeah, Steve's been really disappointed in our um, lack of nice weather. But he was out this weekend. He did a bunch of yard work. He mowed the front and the back lawn. And then he went through and cleaned out all my flower beds. I know, right? I'm a lucky girl. <laughs> okay. We are going... Oh, let me put these over here too so I don't lose them. 
Um, we are going to talk a little bit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got a letter this week from Sarah and Shelly. They, um, Sarah is running Stampin' Up. Shelly owns Stampin' Up, and Sarah is her daughter. And um, I know both of them and just adore them. And it was a congratulations on your 15 years as a member of, Stamp of the Stampin' Up! family. We are proud of your accomplishments. Please accept this 15-year pin as a token of our gratitude. We hope you'll wear it with pride. Thank you for your effort and contribution to Stampin' Up!'s success. We look forward with excitement and anticipation for the years to come. Yay, me! So, that... Remember, I celebrated my 15th anniversary um, in March, so we get a pin. Yay! That was that was exciting mail this week. Okay, then we're going to talk a little bit about this Everything is Rosy medley. It's a product medley. This is the first time that Stamping Up is actually um, doing this type of a promotion. And if you caught my live, when was I live? Was I live for you guys Friday night maybe? I think I was. Um, I showed everybody the, yeah, I think I did that on my on this page right here. I showed everybody all the goodies and the product medley. Well, I've had some time to play with the Everything is Rosy. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about it. And I've got some um, little sample things to share with you. So we have the Everything is Rosy stamp set. And this comes with 18 different stamps. And then the promotion also comes with the Everything is Rosy thinlets. And this is a set of 10 different dies. So 18 stamps, 10 dies. Also included in this product medley is two rolls of ribbon. We've got Melon Mambo Ruched Ribbon, which is just beautiful. And then we've got the Knight of Navy Rose Gold Edge Metallic Ribbon, which is also beautiful. You get 10 yards on both of these. And then we have, what are these things called again? Mirror Rose Gold Adhesive Backed mirror embellishments. You get 60 of these and these are little mirrors and they just pop right out of this card and they're self-adhesive. They stick right on to whatever you're going to put them on. Next we have, yeah, all of this is included in this product medley. Then we have the rose gold metallic paper and you get, let's see, eight sheets of this in six by six. And then you get 48 sheets of this designer series paper. And it is all, well, let's see, let's get in here. It is all double-sided. You get, I think, eight sheets of each one. Yep, eight sheets of each pattern. And it is so, so gorgeous, you guys. So I had a little bit of time to play with that. Um, over the weekend. So we're going to be making a card with it. You also get these die cut adhesives and you get two sheets. Well, I shouldn't say adhesives. Some of them are die cuts. Some of them are sticky. So then they're die cut adhesive stickers, but you get, whoops, hang on. You get two sheets of each, two sheets of these. Keep looking. Two sheets of these. There's more. <laughs> oh, Julie said her son ordered the bundle for her for Mother's Day. Oh, what a good boy you've raised, Julie. You also get some rose gold shimmer paint. So this is a brand new product. Um, I took the liberty of stamping all the images. So I will have them available to show you as I do demonstrations with this bundle. And then here are the die cuts. Let me get this in the frame there. Here are the die cuts. And the flowers and the leaves are the items that have die cuts that match those. So this is a beautiful, beautiful bundle of product, right? So let's talk about that a little bit. Um, I, went to, I went to my catalog and I found products like 
our shimmer paint is eight dollars right ribbon like this would be eight fifty and seven dollars you get ten yards of each I valued these mirror embellishments at oh I don't even think I put them on here I didn't even put them on here so I, those are free <laughs> six by six paper that's gonna be eleven fifty the die cut sheets I valued around six dollars which is probably a little light a stamp set of this size would be around $25 because there are 18 different stamps in here. A set of framelits with 10 different framelits in it would be about $35. All of this product, when you add up those totals individually, would cost about $101. It is available for $80. This is a really good deal, and I didn't realize how good of a deal it was until I went through and I, I took my little sheet and marked everything down to try and figure out what is the value on this Everything is Rosy. So it's a really good value. Um, you can, of course, go right to my Stampin' Up! store. You can type in Everything is Rosy in the little search thing, and it's going to pop it up. Um, there's only one item code because you get all of the stuff in one kit and it con it comes it comes packaged in a white box so that's kind of different too right oh and becky says she orders her ordered hers today good for you becky by the way becky i have a door prize gift um i don't know when you won it but it was in my bin and i'll be bringing that to the team meeting tomorrow night becky's on my team and she's coming to the team meeting and she's doing a demonstration i believe if my memory serves me correctly. So, everything is rosy. Fabulous, fabulous um, bundle of products. Now, I've been talking about a kit class for quite a while, and this is gonna be a product-based class where you're gonna get products in a kit, and um, all the cardstock and, and stuff like that cut so that when you get the kit, you can make the cards. It's also going to have um, ins written instructions and photographs and a PDF file. I'm going to be working on that this week. I have all the stuff that I need to create the class and watch for advertising on that in the next week or so. So I just want to make sure you know about that. Then, um, don't forget our retirement list is still, it's posted on every blog post that I put on my blog. Make sure you're checking out that retirement list. We're going to be using some of the retiring products tonight. Did you guys, I had a lot of people that really, really liked the um, Swirly Bird cards that I made the other day. Let's see. Oh, I have them right here. I used one of them today for my brother-in-law's birthday. Hang on. I got kind of crazy stuff going on here. Here we go. So yeah, Swirly Bird is a great stamp set. And I, I use one of the cards, so I don't have the third color, but great, great stamp set. And then these, um, I called these whirly gigs, but then somebody corrected me and said they're called pinwheels. And yeah, you're right. <laughs> I didn't know what they were called, but Swirly Bird is retiring. I'm sad to see it go, but I'm glad I have it, right? Okay, what else do I need to tell you here? This week, I have a busy week coming up. Um... Tomorrow is the Color Fusers blog hop, and that's a, a blog hop I belong to where we're challenged to use certain colors on a card, and then we, we can only use neutrals, but we can't use any other colors, so it's always my most challenging challenge of the month. I see Lisa placed her order for hers Thursday. Lisa's also on my team. Yay, Lisa, you're going to love it. The paper, oh, delicious. Okay. Um, blades. If you have a stamp and trimmer and you were not able to get blades for it because we ran out of them, um, our inventory status report tells me that blades are coming in on the 6th of May. Now, I think that means they're going to be in the warehouse. I don't know if the number is going to be turned on to order them. But that's what our time frame is right now. So for those of you that need blades, I just want you to know. And I'm really excited to see what our new paper trimmer is going to look like. I'm not ordering any blades, and I have two of those trimmers because I want the new one. So I'm, I'm up for that. And let's see. 
I also wanted to tell you guys, you know that with this Everything Rosy bundle, you're going to see a gazillion ideas online for this bundle. So if you're kind of on the fence about it, like you don't know if you should order it or not, you should. <laughs> I'd love it if you order it from me, but if you have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you know, keep her in business too. I don't want to take business away from anybody, but if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can order this bundle from me. I do have um, an ordering incentive right now where if you order the bundle from me, you're going to get a card kit in the mail. So it's going to be card stock and anything else that I decide to use, whether it's ribbon or things like that. Um, you'll get a card kit in the mail as my special thank you for ordering this bundle. So um, it'll be three cards. I think that's what I wrote in my advertising. It's going to be three cards. And then you're also going to use, you know, your stamp set and your dies and your, your paper that comes in your kit to make the cards. But I'll provide you with a PDF um, file and um, all the instructions. And I see Connie says she's receiving her Rosie Bundle on Wednesday. Connie's also part of my team. Um, yay you, Connie. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. Okay, Julie says when I looked, it said unavailable. When you looked at what was unavailable. Yeah, let me know, because I missed something there. Okay, should we start stamping? I think maybe it's time to stamp. If I missed anybody's questions, um, please ask again because it's hard for me to talk and do the things and keep up with the questions and I don't want to, I'm not ignoring you on purpose. I've never actually done that on Facebook Live. <laughs> yeah, I just want you to know that. Okay, um, let's see. I'm just going to move some of this stuff out of my way so we can get busy, right? And... Okay, we're gonna, it popped when I, when I went to order about an hour ago. What popped up? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna keep going here. I can catch up on the comments later. Oh, Stephanie, yeah, the blades aren't gonna be available until it says the 6th when they're coming into the warehouse. So... Oh, somebody said the blades are available again. I put up an announcement saying that they're supposed to be in on the 6th. That's not guaranteed, so just know that. So, um, yeah. And Jackie said blade number. If you're looking for an item code for the blades, just type it in a search engine. Trimmer blades, and they'll pop right up. And then you can put in your email address so that Stampin' Up! notifies you by email when the blades are in stock. Because they're not going to last long. This much I'm pretty guaranteed. Okay? All right. Um, oh, thank you, Marcia. It's the blades they're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, and Michelle's right. You can get an email. Okay, we're going to flip. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. And I will tell you when you can open them. I need to unmirror my screen, so hang tight here, and get everything straight and ready to rock. Okay, good deal. Am I, what's happening over here? I'm falling off my table. There we go. I have my handy dandy little glue holder here. I showed this guys to you. This was a gift from one of my team members, Wendy. It's made with, um, what do they call those? Those printers, those, what is that called? I don't remember. Um, 3D printer, that's it. Yeah, it's made with the 3D printer and it fits the glue just perfect and I love it. Okay, don't forget to do all this stuff. And let me get this first card in here and ready to roll. So, I when I'm working with a new stamp set, especially for the first time, I like to take all of the stamps and mount them. And I can honestly tell you that that is not all of the stamps. There's still two more stamps left on this card. And look at all the beauty here. That's a lot of stamps. 18 stamps is a lot of stamps. So um, we're going to be using the Everything is Rosy stamp set first. Oh, and I want to tell you guys, all of these projects will be posted on my blog on... I think Tuesday. 
because I have the Color Fusers blog hop will be posted tomorrow. Then all these Facebook projects will go on Tuesday. Wednesday is my tip video. And then I think I have another blog hop on Thursday with the one stamp at a time um, design team. So you could watch for that too. Let me get this cord out of the way because that's bugging me. All right. So I'm sorry for those of you that um, get motion sickness. You can come back now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to forget about you. Okay, so we're going to be using Blushing Bride for our card base. And this is four and a quarter by 11. And I've scored it at five and a half. So I'm just going to fold this and give it a good burnish. And you guys know that you can get this beautiful desktop paper. This is um, available. Let me grab the information. Um, yeah, floral grid paper. And again, all you have to do is go to my store and you'll find an online store button on my blog and type in floral grid paper and it'll come up on a search. You get a huge pack of it, it's beautiful and it makes me happy when I stamp with it, right? Yeah. Yeah, Becky says she needs that glue holder. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's really cool. So there are some um, coordinating products, and I'm sure I haven't thought of them all, but with this Everything is Rosy medley, product medley, yeah, if you're going to order that, get yourself some rose glimmer paper because this is going to go along with this bundle or this medley, product medley, and then also some of our rose metallic thread. You're going to want to have that on hand too. I love all the color coordination. Okay, we're not actually using the um, glimmer paper, but I will in the future, so make sure you get some. Let's see what we're gonna do here. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping. I'm gonna bring in my paper piercing mat. This is just something I wrap some type printer paper around it and um, to protect it so I don't get ink all over it, but it's a good surface, especially with photopolymer stamps. It's a good stamping surface. So I decided I was going to use the greeting that says, may your birthday be filled with pretty things. Isn't that nice? I love that. Because everybody's birthday should be filled with pretty things. So I've got Night of Navy ink here. I'm gonna stamp my greeting right on one of these die cut labels. And if you're wondering where did that come from, remember these, that's where it came from, is these labels. So they just pop right out of the paper and you can stamp on them and use them. The next thing I want to do, let's see, is this an inch? Let's, yeah, it is an inch. I'm going to bring in, whew, I'm going to bring in my Banner Triple Punch, and I'm going to, this is one inch by, hmm, let me see, one inch by four, um, and this is the rose gold foil paper that comes with the kit, and I'm just going to punch both ends of it, whoops, let me get that in there straight, just like that, and that might be too much, yep, it's too much, hang on, I didn't think that through very well. <laughs> I got more. Don't worry. I'm going to get another piece cut here. Three and a quarter. Okay, here we go. Do you guys sometimes get challenged by um, not knowing what size to make your banners? I have that happen to me kind of a lot, and I should have known better. So, this is a one by six piece now, and I'm just going to figure out how long do I really want this to be. So, let me take a look here. I want it to kind of stick out over the edges, so I want it to be about this long. So I'm going to bring this piece in here and put it right here. And then I'm going to cut my paper right at that mark. That's the best way I know how to tell you to figure this out. So let me measure again. I'll measure so that you have all the dimensions. So we've got this. Can you guys see that in my... Yeah, you can see that. And then here comes my ruler. So this is about four and three quarters inches long. And then we're going to punch that other end. 
and I'll save that little banner for something else because I'm sure I'll use it somewhere, right? I wanted my banner to be bigger, like this. Okay, I gotta grab some dimensionals. So this is a super easy card, and of course it is absolutely spectacular because of this paper. Love it. Here we go. I've got this piece, and this is two and three quarters by five and a half. And isn't that just I think that's charming with the stripes. The striped layer is two or is three and a half by five and a half. So we've got two and three quarters and three and a half. And then I need to write down so I make sure I give you guys the right size here in the dimensions. This was one by four and three quarters. I always keep a little note so that I can type up those measurements for you. Okay, and look at the back of that. Isn't it? Oh, so pretty. All right, here we go. Because the paper is so gorgeous, all the cards you make with this are going to be spectacular. Like, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? And you can see all of these um, sheets have a little bit of that foil embossing on them with the rose gold. Then I'm going to take this piece and put it right about here. And I'm going to bring in my die cut label and put some dimensionals on it. Hang on. Jackie says, oh my gosh. She says, OMG, now I need that glimmer paper. I know, Jackie. So I'm telling you, if you didn't order yet, this bundle, you're going to want it, and you're going to want to add the glimmer paper and the um, rose gold metallic thread. Oh, I was going to put some of that on there. Hang on, let's see if I can get that off. Ah, yes, I can. Dimensionals are kind of forgiving right away, but if they would have stayed on here for a minute longer, they don't forgive. I wanted to put some of this in there. So let's see what we're going to do with it. I think this is just going to really kind of dress it up. And I'm just going to take this and wrap it around my hand a gazillion times. Where's my scissors? Right here. And then I usually like to do like a little figure eight thing here. Okay, so I've done that. And then I'm going to do this. Let's see, I want it to go up the top and the bottom. Let's make sure we got that under control. And I'm going to do this. Here we go. Let's pull this back in here. There we go. <gasps> that is pretty. Now I know it's hard for you to see this in the camera. And I got some little wild hairs trying to sneak out there. Look at how pretty that is. Whoops, hang on. There we go. Can you see that thread on there? I hope you can see that thread on there. This is just the prettiest, prettiest little card. And you saw how easy it was, right? That's how this whole bundle is. It's just super simple. Now, I'm gonna bring in my Blushing Bride because I wanted to stamp something on the inside of my card. And I'm gonna do this little flower. And then we've got, hmm, this little flower and I think I'm just gonna do blushing bride there too yep that looks good and then the little dotty things that go in the middle of the flower right like that and this is just gonna be my inside so I've got lots of room to write to my next friend that has a birthday I wonder who that is I just sent a card out well Steve did I gave him the card though I made the card he mails it out teamwork right Pretty? What do you guys think? Yeah. Beautiful and easy, right? Um, I, we just mailed out a card to Steve's youngest brother. He's got, there's seven kids in his family. He comes from a pretty big family. And uh, the youngest one just had a birthday. So I gave him one of those cool swirly bird birthday cards. Oh, I forgot this. What the heck is this? This is a piece that was just left over. 
Um, and I was going to put this in here somewhere. And I think at, at the top will work just fine. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Just bring this little piece there. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that easy? Yeah. Okay. Let me get this stuff put away. Remember, that's the Everything is Rosy bundle of products. Super fun. And you're going to see a ton of stuff coming out that's going to be loaded online using this bundle of products because Stampin' Up! demonstrators all over the world are super excited about this. So we're going to share a ton of stuff with you. You can count on it. All right, next up is, let's see, do we want the pop-up card or the fun fold? I think we'll do the fun fold first. So let me get everything unloaded. Wow, we've got a lot of people watching us tonight. That's exciting. Don't forget to do all this. That really helps me out. And if you decide to place an order, you can use this host code if your order is under $150. That really helps me out. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You will get your own stamping benefits, and um, they're called Stampin' Rewards. And I found out from some people who have recently joined my team that um, they were never getting their stamping rewards. So Stampin' Up! demonstrators out there, if you are not giving people their rewards with a $150 order, hmm, I don't know what to say to that. I'm sad, a little disappointed. It's a little bit crooked, I think. Anyways, not my problem, right? Okay. Here we go. I have got my little dimensions. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, here's all my bits and pieces. So, let's pull this over here. Um, I don't know what, what is that for? I have no idea. So this is what happens to me when I make cards ahead of time, then I'm like a little confused. So bear with me. <laughs> All right, so this is called a sidestep card, and these are really fun. People think that they're very hard to make, and they're not, and I'm gonna show you today that these are super, super, well, they're not super, super easy, but anybody who makes cards can do this. So you need to give yourself more credit. First thing we're gonna do is we've got a piece of pumpkin pie, and this is four and a quarter by five and a half, or 11, four and a quarter by 11. I am going to put this in to my paper cutter up to the two inch line. Okay, so we're at two inches right here. And then I'm gonna bring the cutting blade in and I'm gonna start at one inch and I'm gonna cut to six and a half. So here we go. One inch up to six and a half right here. Okay, then you are going to turn your cardstock this way. Now this side has two inches to the cut. This side has two and a quarter inches to the cut. On the bigger side, which is gonna be the front left, you are going to score this at five, oh, hang on. Um, five and a half, I was right. We're gonna score that at five and a half. So you're gonna score it from this edge up to our slit. Then, we are going to score this side now. Can you guys see that? I want you to know that I just scored from here to here. That's it, at five and a half inches. Now we're gonna put this in. We are going to score the right side of our card at six and a half. Get that cutting blade out of there. We don't wanna cut anything anymore. So here we go, six and a half inches. And then, we're gonna go all the way back to one inch. And again, we're just gonna score from this side up to the slit and then two inches. Now on my blog, I will be showing you, I have this wonderful um, template and I'll put this on my blog so you can have good, good reference to it, right? On Tuesday, all of this will be on my blog. My blog address is right here. This is it, you guys. Like, you can do that, right? 
You can do it. I will be your biggest cheerleader. When you make cards using this layout, I want to see them. Okay, so we have this ready. Now, next thing you're going to do is we need to pull this right side up. The left side goes back. No, I'm sorry, I'm backwards. Left side up, right side back here. Push this down, push this up. See what I'm doing here? Just like that. That's it. Boom. So pull the left side up, push the right side down. Here is our step card, and this is just totally cool. So let's decorate this up, and I have some more samples to show you. I am using, what is this paper called? You guys know that I have like the worst memory ever, right? I used this paper a ton not too long ago. Petal Promenade. The Petal Promenade Designer Series paper is what I chose to use um, for my my sidestep cards or stair step. It's called sidestep, I think. Um, here we go. We're gonna take this. I decided to bring out my Touches of Texture stamp set. And this is just a gorgeous stamp set. It is retiring. And this is one of the last ones that I have mounted on wood blocks. So it's kind of the end of an era for me. Um, little bittersweet there. I've got Memento ink and I am going to stamp the flowers on my Whisper White layer and this layer is one and three quarters by four. Just like that. Then I've got my um, markers and I'm going to come in. This is Pear Pizzazz. And I'm going to come in and color my leaves. So this is like a really relaxing little thing. You could stamp up a whole bunch of these little panels and sit in front of the TV. Earlier today, Star Wars was on. I think that's what's on my TV right now. And it was one of the later Star Wars. I just couldn't get into it. So you know yesterday was like some anniversary. Like, may the 4th be with you. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um... But I loved the first Star Wars movie, and the funny thing about it was I went to the movie theater to see something totally different. This is pumpkin pie. And, um, hang on, my, my comments aren't scrolling. Oh, and Lynn Miller says she has that set. Yay! Um, so when I was uh, probably a young teenager, like maybe 14 or so, I went to the movie theater with my friend, and when we got there, whatever movie we wanted to see, and I don't know what it was, was sold out. And so um, I think my hometown, well, it was actually in Marshfield, only maybe had two theaters, and or two screen, you know what I mean. There was only two places in the theater you could watch movies. So... I really wanted to go to the movies. I don't want to, like, go home. And I think my mom dropped us off and left. <laughs> so we had to go watch something, right? So we went and watched the Star Wars. We had no idea what it was. I'd never heard of it. And it turned out being, like, one of the best movies ever. We really enjoyed it. It was so funny. I probably would have never watched Star Wars, um, chose to watch it. But we were kind of forced to watch that and I absolutely loved it but I've never gotten into the other Star Wars movies I think I watched the second one but I haven't watched any more of them so anyways kind of a funny story I remember that Star Wars was you know the big thing and um, we had never heard of it until we were forced to watch it at the theater but I do like Star Wars okay I've got Blushing Bride here and this piece is two by four and a quarter. So it's just a quarter inch bigger than our white layer. And I'm gonna take this, oh, wait. Um, where did my blushing bride go? Or maybe I wanna do pumpkin pie, hang on. Nope, I'm gonna do blushing bride because I don't know where my pumpkin pie ink pad is. Isn't that weird? Hmm. Um, I've got the thanks out of the thankful thoughts. And this is a great thank you stamp set. This is also retiring. So I'm going to stamp that thanks right down here. Okay, I, you guys know I need a lot of thank you cards and 
Um, you could certainly do a birthday card with this. You can make it a get well card, any kind of card you want. And I'm going to put this right over here on this panel. That's where it's going to fit the best. And then I've got that Petal Promenade Designer Series paper. And I've got a 3 quarters by 4 inch strip that's going to fit right here. And this piece is... One and three quarters by four and a quarter, and that fits right in here. Isn't it easy? Like super cool card, right? Yay! Yeah, I know, Cindy. You know, um, Cindy said she goes, "Wow, I don't know that I would have ever put those two colors together, but it looks really nice." I picked the colors out of here. Now, while um, pumpkin pie is not listed as a color in the Petal Promenade, there is pumpkin pie in it. You can see the flowers right up here get real dark on the insides and the edges. So that's where I grabbed my card base. And then because, you know, Blushing Bride is part of this pink in here is where I came up with the, with the layer under it. You guys want to see some more of these? Because, you know, once I get going, I can't stop. <laughs> like, I just keep making and making and making. Okay, here comes another one. Oh, and on this one, I put, oh, let's do that. I forgot to put these um, faceted gems. I like to put those in the center of the flower. Oh, no, that's why, because this is, never mind. <laughs> I was confused. I put a faceted gem in the center of this one. But this is also from the Touches of Texture. And here is another sidestep card. Isn't that pretty? I used um, the same paper pack, but then Mossy Meadow here. And then this is um, Blackberry Bliss and Blackberry Bliss with Mossy Meadow for the stem. And then we've got that one. And then we've got this one. I use the same flower out of the Touches of Texture. There's a lot of really cool elements in this Touches of Texture. And here is, again, the same pack of paper. And I pulled my colors out of here to make my little flowers. Mossy Meadow again with Blushing Bride. Blushing Bride card base. And you want to know where it all started? Started with this card. Now this is an old set and this is old paper, um, but my mom sent me this card this last week and it says, my dear Kelly, thank you so much for a wonderful weekend in your hospitality. I had a great time, love you mom. So I got this card in the mail from my mom and I made the card and gave it to her as a gift, like I don't know when, but it's you know maybe last year or the year before. And I'm like, hey, we should do that on Facebook Live. And so that's how it all started. <laughs> Yeah, funny how that happens, right? So there's three different color combinations. This is an awesome card layout. And again, I will be posting this template. You can, if you're watching later, you can pause your camera right now and um, get these measurements. But I always kind of like to do a template for something that's got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's move this out of the way. I'm gonna put this back on my display back here because I always like to kind of display my cards and move this out of the way. I'm gonna bring in my chamois and clean off my stamps because I see I don't have a tray to put them in and I don't wanna get ink all over everything, right? Uh, nope, I do not. All right, here we go. Let's move this out of the way and this and yeah you should never store stuff on your rubber I actually ruined a stamp because I put something like this heavy on it and it like made a dent in my rubber and it never I don't know if it ever recovered it was not a good plan so make sure you're taking good care put these in back in the cases or in little bins or something I don't want you to have that happen to you oh, we still need this all right so where did my oh here it is I'll be right back. I've got another bin to unload here. Make sure you do all that that it says on the card that I can't talk about for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this next card is also kind of a fun fold. I think you guys are going to love it. 
Let me get my little dimensions up there so I can tell you the right thing. We are going to be using the Bunch of Banners Framelits. Oh, Vicki's asking me where did I get my sh um, chamois cover. You know, this is on the Stampin' Up! Demonstrator website, I think. Um, it was just something that you could print out. I'm, I'm not really sure where it came from. But it's just a piece of paper that I printed and slipped in there. I don't know. I, I would have to investigate that. Um, Vicki, if you want to email me, maybe I can, I, cause I won't remember to look it up, but if you email me and say, Kelly, where did your chamois thing? I can maybe find it. Cause I don't remember. I've had it for a while. All right. Oh, you guys, I totally forgot to report it. Well, first of all, do you want to see my, did you guys check out my nails? Yeah. Do you love the little flowers? I love the little flowers. So I got my nails done. That's what I did Friday night. I got my nails done. I couldn't remember what I did. Um, and I also forgot to report back to you guys that I am now down 28 pounds. 28 pounds. I saw my coach, Bev, come on. She's my coach for the Optavia program. And I'm supposed to talk to her tomorrow morning. But Bev, I'm getting my hair cut at 10 a.m. So... Um, I need to contact you about that, but about not being able to talk to you probably at 1045. But yeah, um, 28 pounds. I've lost 28 pounds and I feel amazing. Like I feel so good. Can't even tell you. All right. We're going to be using one wild ride. Now this is my friend Don Griffith's million dollar stamp set. And I adore Don and her husband is just like the nicest man in the world. He always asks about Steve because he um, kind of followed along when he had his um, horrible incident in the hospital where he almost died and all that. But this one wild ride stamp set was designed by my friend Don Griffith and um, they're bikers and it's beautiful and I'm really glad that I have it. This, I, this is not one that I'm going to be getting rid of just because it's retiring, but it is retiring. So if you like to make man cards, you're going to love this card that I have ready for you. You need to get this one wild ride before it's gone. It's super fun. Okay, here comes my card stock layers. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have my strawberry lemonade calorie burner drink from Optavia. Mm. And it is delicious. And I love it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here we go. I use the stitched shapes framelit circle to cut out the circle that we're going to stamp on. Then I've got a piece of Pacific Point here. This is um five and a half by eight and a half and we are going to fold that in half oops and then i've got oh this was a scrap of white i don't really need that because I, I i already cut this out oh and then i have a backup plan in case this doesn't work <laughs> yeah because i know you'll find this shocking but sometimes things don't work out the way i plan them to um, an inside white layer that's four by five and a quarter. And then I've got this white layer. And this white layer is eight inches by five and a quarter. Okay. And we are going to, first of all, we're going to do our stamping. So I've got my Memento ink pad here. And I'm going to ink up this amazing Harley Davidson motorcycle. Yeah. My husband, I think, went out riding this last week, but now he's really mad because it's going to be 40, whoops, 48 degrees. Look, I just got ink on my fingers. Hang on. 48 degrees on Thursday is our high. It's like, seriously, Wisconsin, let's get on with this program. Like, this is like the coldest May I can ever remember. And there's probably a colder one, but I'm tired of it. Okay, you guys, I just pick a place and start. And now I'm going to alternate. I'm using this motorcycle for my background. So I'm basically making my own designer series paper. It's what I like to do. And it's easy. This is so easy to make a cool background. 
see I just did that little bit there because I, I want to you know I want to keep it consistent I want it to look a bit not consistent that's the wrong word I want it to be very random so I'm missing all your comments and I apologize because I'm busy trying to make motorcycle cards <laughs> here we go we are going to bring in that motorcycle and we're gonna do one more one more stamp and I'm gonna stamp it just like this on that circle okay then I'm gonna bring in this gray scrap and we've got the born to ride we're gonna ink that up in black ink and we're gonna stamp that on there now these bunch of banner framelits I'm pretty sure these are retiring also because I had to dig them out of my retiring stuff box. I have a whole box of stuff over there that's retiring. And we're going to die cut the Born to Ride with the bunch of banners framelits. And of course, through the magic of TV, I've already done that. Our inside layer is going to be cool too. Oh, no, that was my scrap. Never mind. I don't need that. I need this. So here's what we're going to do with this. Um, we're going to clean our motorcycle off again. You guys are going to love this inside. And this is actually the first time I've made one of these cards. So it's kind of like, ooh. We're going to bring in our trimmer. And I am going to score this at four inches. Okay, so I want to know where I need to stamp. I'm going to stamp now. I probably could keep going with the whole scoring deal, but I just want to stamp my stuff. I've got smoky slate here, and I'm pretty sure that I need to stamp off one time. So I'm going to stamp off once, and then come right in here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool, right? And then I'm going to bring in my words and I'm coming in with black. And you can see I've double mounted them here. I am going to stamp these right over top of my motorcycle. Crooked. <laughs> A little bit crooked, not too bad. <laughs> and then we've got this cool looking Route 66 and I just decided to throw that in there because why wouldn't you? And We've got this circle going here. I'm going to bring in these little sprinkly things in the gray, and I'm just gonna stamp some of those right down here on my circle layer. I don't know why, but I wanted them there. And I just keep stamping like that. If you don't like that, don't do that part, but I did it. Okay. Um, the scrap of white I do need. I was confused. But we're going to take our black ink and this badge. And it says, life's a journey, enjoy the ride. And we're going to stamp that just like that. And then we're going to clean it. And stamp it in... Pacific Point. Beautiful. Okay. We used to have a punch, you guys. And some of you might have it. And if you do, you use your punch. You use it for all it's worth. But we do not have a punch anymore for this badge. It retired, I think, maybe last year. So if you have the punch, punch out your badge. And if you don't, you're gonna fussy cut just like I am. And it's not a big deal. This is super easy to cut out. You could stamp up a whole bunch of these, and again, you could sit in front of the TV and watch Star Wars um, on a little binge watch. <laughs> but I wanted this to be Pacific Point because I think it's really gonna stand out and look cool. Okay, and then here comes the badge. I thought I had this done ahead of time, but meh, I guess I didn't. And again, it's really easy. Just make sure you take take your time on those corners so they don't look like a four-year-old did it. <laughs> you like my reference to that? Yeah. Some four-year-olds are pretty darn good cutters, but you know what I mean. 
I got some swap cards in the mail one time that I think a demonstrator had her children doing the cutting. And I'm, I'm, I'm not being like mean or anything, but it was pretty bad. And I'm pretty sure that she did have her kids cut it and they didn't do a very good job. So don't do like that. We're going to put the journey right here. I'm going to get rid of this because it's kind of messy and distracting, right? Let's get rid of this and this. Okay, now here comes the cool part. Um, we are going to... Oh, I'm sorry. Here comes one of the cool parts. Let me close this up so I don't have any accidents. We're going to take that black and metallic ribbon. This is in the Occasions Mini Catalog, and it is called Striped Metallic Ribbon. You get 10 yards of it. It is fantastic for man cards. And if you make cards for men, you need some. It'll last you a long time, and it goes with just about everything. This is actually from the Geared Up Garage um, bundle of products. Okay, so I've got some ribbon here. I decided to bling this up a little bit, and you can bling up man cards if you bling them up with man colors. <laughs> you don't want to do this with pinker you know, purple or anything like that, but I've got our black mini sequins and our silver mini sequins. And both of these, look, I'm almost out of black. Both of these are retiring. We have gold, silver, and black in these mini sequins. So yeah, I'm sad about that because I like to bling things up. I think everything, you know, most cards should have just a little element of bling. I'm going to bring my ribbon up here and tie my knot close to the top. I'm now, I've got a single knot there. I'm going to bring in my blingy sequins and you might want to get somebody to give you a finger, not that finger you guys, <laughs> um, to help you hold it, but I just did pretty good, right? Look at how cool that looks. Trim this off. Oh, I didn't do that very good. Hang on. There we go. Look at how cool that looks with that, those sequins on there. That's pretty neat, right? I like it. Okay, we're ready to... What did I do with my dimensionals? Here's another card. I thought I had some out. We're ready to put this on now. So I'm going to use three dimensionals on my motorcycle circle. Whoops, got one there. And where'd that gray piece go? Did you guys see my gray piece? Oh, here it is. We're gonna put a dimensional on each end of this, just like that, and get the card front on. The card front looks pretty cool, but the inside, I think, is gonna rock your world. So, oh, I'm getting lots of thumbs up. Thank you so much. Patty Wanaki just messaged me and said, when do you go live? <laughs> Let me type N-O-W. <laughs> okay. Here comes our motorcycle. I'm just going to put this right down here in the bottom corner. Just like that. And then I'm going to bring in the Born to Ride and kind of put it right on the top of my circle. Now that's a cool card, right? And you saw how easy it was to make. Let's finish the inside, because this is going to be super duper cool. Did you guys see where that badge went that we just cut out? Oh, here it is. Okay, we're good. We're going to take this white layer, and we are going to... We've already got our score line in the middle at four inches, right? So we're going to go down about three quarters of an inch here, and we're going to score over to this side. And I just eyeball it. I just don't think there's any real reason to get too bent out of shape about being exact with this. Can you see that? Here's a score line. And now I'm going to fold our card, whoops, fold our card. And now we're going to pop this fold line in just like that. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to push this side in. So here's what I'm doing. See how I'm kind of pushing it down? 
see what I did? I didn't, I didn't score the other side. I just pushed it. So then I don't have to worry about how am I going to get this to be exactly the same on that side. You just push it in and it'll work. Here we go. Now I noticed that I have this. I'm going to force my card to be a little less crooked. There we go. Yay! This is going to go on the inside. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. Anytime I'm doing an inside layer like this, I do not like to put glue on both sides. I've not ever had real good luck with that. If you put it on one side, and then kind of do this, and then you're going to put your glue on this white layer here, because it just needs a little bit of space in there that you don't allow for if you were to glue it down to both sides. Make sure your ribbon is looking good here. My ribbon looks a little crooked. There we go. See, I've got it perfect now. Okay, now I'm just going to close my card. Okay, so what's this all about? Wait till you see. Where did our badge go? Oh my lord. Do you see the badge? Oh, it fell on the floor. I was just starting to panic like, holy cow, I'm ready to do the really cool thing and now I don't know where it is. We're gonna take some glue and put it right here. Okay, right there. And we're gonna come in here and we are going to open this up, glue's on this side, we're going to come right in here and we're going to add this badge. Now, you want to make sure that your badge is not going over the score lines. That's super important. But that's it. I just glued it onto that left side. Ready? Well, that didn't work. There we go. <laughs> like, how did I do that? There we go. Boom. Let's see if we can make that go down a little bit more. Okay. Here we go. Now, the important thing is that you go down about one and three quarters of an inch and go over about one and a half inches from the side and that badge will fit right in there. Isn't that cool? What do you guys think? Yay! My um, messages are not keeping up again. Oh, so clever. Yeah, well, I didn't think of this. So, <laughs> thanks Sherry for saying I'm so clever, but it really wasn't my idea. So let's take a look at where I got this idea. So this is our little piggy set, and isn't that adorable? Ta-da! When pigs fly, this is where I got the idea for my man card. It's a pop-up on the inside, and all you have to do is make this little triangle in there. So again, you measure down one and three quarters of an inch, Start about one and a half inches from this side and score to the middle score line and then fold it to push it and make it even on the other side. When you put your item in here, you need to make sure that the edges of your item are not going over your score lines, okay? So you just kind of glue this in only on the left side. You can see that the right side is not glued down. And that's so that when you fold it up, I want you to see inside there, it's inside your card and it lays down. Cool, right? Yay! I can't remember who made this card. It may have been Jay Shante. I'm not positive, but super, super cute, right? Yeah. Okay. I think, let me find, uh, where did my, where did my thing go here? Hang on, I lost something. Get this put back over here. And no. Here we go. Nope, that's not it either. I don't know where it went. Don't forget. Let me bring back out some of these things. Oh, here it is. Don't forget to do this. 
And don't forget to check out my blog hop tomorrow. If you would like to place an order for any of these products, you can head right over to my blog. You're going to find an online ordering button in the right-hand side. Click on that, it'll take you right to my store, and when your order is under $150, you want to use this host code. That helps me out, and that's what allows me to do the drawings and give you free prizes. So, yeah, um, it's pretty important. And remember, I can't say the word anymore, but if you're watching later on YouTube, if you could also do that, make sure you give me a one of these on Facebook and YouTube. That always helps me out. And on YouTube, there's a bell. If you ring that bell, it will notify you when I am live next time, like on your device. It'll say, hey, Kelly Etchison, or Kelly Etchison just uploaded a new video. I did talk about doing some YouTube lives, and I haven't gotten there yet. So I've been just things have been just a little crazy. But I'm going to bring back all these cards in. Remember this is the everything is rosy promotion that is right here. It has a value of $101. You get all of the product for 80 bucks. It is a fantastic deal and you're going to see a gazillion ideas with this. Because Stampin' Up! demonstrators all over the world are working with this this month. So this is only available in the month of May, but while supplies last. So when we run out of it, it's gone. If you um, need a good, beautiful floral stamp set and some gorgeous paper that's easy to create, make sure you get one. I also will be sharing a one-sheet wonder with you using the stamp set. So I want to make you aware of that. Here are all the beautiful images. These are all the die cuts. These are all the stamped images. They're gorgeous. And there we go. Look at we made one, two, three cards. I've got five to show you here. Here's the template for the sidestep card. And you'll find all of these dimensions on my blog on Tuesday. I will also post the dimensions um, above this Facebook live um, in just a little bit. As soon as I get them typed up, I'll put them in the description above this video so you can reference them there too. I always like to provide that because I know when I see stuff, I wish everybody would post their dimensions because we're looking at stuff so we can make it, right? And it'd be so much easier if we didn't have to reinvent the wheel. I don't want you guys to have to reinvent the wheel. I want it to be easy for you to recreate because... If you're going to share, then share everything. Share all the deets, right? Share them. <laughs> yeah. All right. Did I miss any questions? Because I am now looking at my computer so that I can see your comments. So if you asked a question earlier and I didn't answer it, you can ask it now. And I am monitoring all of that. You guys are so sweet. You are so welcome for these ideas. I hope you'll make some of these and make sure you share them with me. If you make some sidestep cards, I wanna see them, okay? If you do a pop-up, go look through your stuff and see what you can make with that. Like what can you have pop up in this card, right? And if you, um, if you get the Everything is Rosy bundle from me, you get a free card kit. I will give that to you in the mail as a thank you for purchasing the bundle from me. I appreciate it. I always appreciate your orders. That's what keeps me in business and keeps these free videos coming to all of you because I got to pay my bills, right? Yeah. Um, watch for my blog hop on Thursday. Also one stamp at a time. I am um, hopping with that design team on Thursday. I think retirement may be our theme, but I don't remember for sure. I didn't really look it up. But I don't see any questions. Oh, here we go. Hang on. My thing wasn't going. Please explain your sample stamps and dies. Okay. Patsy, are you talking about this? Is that what you mean? Let me know because I'm reading your question right now. And Charlene says she had no idea they were that easy. You know... People make things a lot more complicated than they are. And I have seen these cards in other videos. And it's like, do this and do that and do this and do that. And it's like, oh, for lords, for Pete's sakes. Just cut in the middle and make three score lines. One, two, three, four score lines. You got this cool card. So it's always kind of my aim to show you guys how to do stuff easy. Or easier than maybe it was explained in the past. 
because I don't, I don't like all that complicated. I mean, I can make some pretty complicated cards, but I don't think that's what you guys want to see. <laughs> Deb, Debbie says your endless ideas are amazing. Thank you, Debbie. I appreciate you. I appreciate you being on my team, too. Susan Reed, thanks for another fun Sunday night of stamping. Did um, Okay, so Patsy just said yes. So what these are is I take a card that's about the same size as the card that you get your dies on, okay? And I cut some white cardstock and I just take all the stamps and I stamp them so you can see them. Because sometimes the stamps, like these are pretty true to size, but sometimes the images on the front of a stamp case are actually bigger than, or the images on the case are bigger than what the stamps actually are. So I like to take them and stamp them out so you can see everything in color. And then I took all of the stamps that have dies and I stamped those and die cut them. And then we have these three that are dies in the set of Everything is Rosy that don't have stamps for them. So these are just additional dies. This is an edgelet, beautiful. Um, I just made a one sheet wonder and I used this element with it um, on several of the cards. I can't wait to show you guys because it's really pretty. So you'll have a one sheet wonder coming your way soon using this bundle of product. But that's what that is, Patsy. It's just, um, it's a way for me to show you exactly what the dies do. Like, like you can look at this all you want, but I want to see it in real life, right? So then what I do with these is I take them and I put them in the envelope with my dies. So the next time I go to use this, I've got them there and I can show them to you again. So that's what that's all about. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to do this part. Yay, that always helps me out. And do all do all three, you get entered in drawings three times, but make sure that you are commenting because if you're watching me and you don't leave a comment, I don't know that you watched me and you're not going to be entered in any drawings to win anything. Um, and I always appreciate your orders. So, okay. Anybody else? I don't think anybody else had any questions here. Oh, Sarah's on. Yes, we have a team meeting tomorrow night, and I will see Sarah tomorrow night. So I need to come up with a make and take. I've got one make and take, but I need another one for our team meeting. So that's probably what I'll be working on tonight. Megan says your instructions are always so much easier. I made heaps of wiper cards. Oh, yes. Yay, Megan. That makes me happy. Thank you for telling me that, too. Okay. All right. You guys, I think it's time for me to go. I have to go to the bathroom. Was that too much information? <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, you know, um, I've been here for a while. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sign off tonight. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for taking time out of your night to spend it with me. You guys are what makes this Facebook Live fun. And I so appreciate that you're here watching and cheering me on and... You know, sometimes you give me tips and sometimes you help me out and I just, I, I really appreciate it and I just want you to know that. Hope you have a wonderful week. I will see you here again next Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Time. 7 p.m. I keep changing it to 6. 7. 7 p.m. Central Time. Have a great week. Bye-bye.